Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessOfTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Happy Thursday everybody. Usually tonight is my uh, night off. Yesterday, uh, both kids had soccer or basketball. I don't even remember the hell anymore. Uh, so I decided to do one today. So let's talk about the tape. So obviously the big news came uh, kind of reviewing the week back uh, was the big CPI number on, on, on Tuesday, right? That was uh, the biggie. Uh, and again, like, like I said, I, I, with all the economic data that's been kind of peppered for us throughout the week and throughout the months, nobody puts a lot of stake in them anymore. And apparently, they, you know, there was a lot of stake, right? Uh, big, big move down. A couple of days ago, you saw a 5.5% move down on the NASDAQ 100. You saw the biggest drop uh, in the Dow. I think it was like 1,200 points since uh, 2000. A really big crap show, right? And, and in the process, more important than the, the single day event... In the process, we gave back not only the 50-day moving average, but everything below it. And you gave back the 50, the 20, the 5, the 10, and so forth and so on, putting in a situation of, well, what happens next? And obviously, when you have a big engulfing candle, if you watched uh, the video on uh, Tuesday, right? We talked about it was just a matter of time that this candle was going to get tested. Yesterday uh, was an inside day, and obviously... On this inside day, as much as yesterday, the Qs didn't take out the previous day's low. And again, all an inside day means is didn't take out the highs, didn't take out the lows. It was just an area of a rest. But it wasn't for bulls resting. It was for bears resting. And came in today, uh, came in today, again, you saw a lot of weakness right at the open. You saw semiconductors continue to, to be uh, really under pressure. Uh, you saw names, again, the leaders, and that was the key, the leaders... Uh, Microsoft, this was the first one who really took down the market today, um, just really aggressively. And you started looking at names and you said, well, wait a minute, if Microsoft is going to is, is gonna start moving down, then you have to assume names like an Apple, names like an Amazon um, that are holding up the market. You know, they're, they're holding up the rest of the technology. Maybe they get hit along the way as well. And that's exactly what happened throughout the day. Again, was it a smooth session? There was some definitely aggressive moves down. There was some moves up. But ultimately, at the end of the day, what happened was the Qs lost. Uh, not only did they lose the Tuesday's low, but they lost the lows from 9.6. And 9.6 was the lowest close uh, in this whole formation. And then after the close, you got FedEx basically showing you, right, showing you a great guideline of what the overall economy is, right? It's all about spending. If you, again, I don't know a lot of you guys, like I go into Target with my wife a lot, right? What starts out with a fast little trip to, you know, let's pick up some cleaning supplies or pick up, you know, toothpaste, whatever the hell it is for in the area. We're there for like three hours. But I'll tell you, it wasn't like, it's not like in the past, that you go to Target, there's like thousands of people in there. It's pretty empty, even on a, on a you know even on a Saturday or a Sunday compared to where it was. It's called again Main Street meeting Wall Street, and you know a situation like FedEx basically says people are not spending money and they're they're delivering less, and that spilled over uh, to names, for example, obviously like UPS, its primary uh, competition, but then it goes into names like Amazon, right? And if Amazon, if Amazon, and again, all of us are on Amazon constantly, if Amazon, if people are not buying things on Amazon, it's, it really does really show a, a kind of a, a pretty good display of what people are doing, their spending habits and what they're not doing. So this is where, uh, you know, this is where FedEx really shows uh, Main Street meets Wall Street and kind of gives you uh, a really good broad of overall uh, economy. But from the trading aspect, again, it's not a really whole conversation of people spending money, not spending money, going into rates and not rates, all that stuff. We're, we're talking about from the trading aspect right now. And the point is when you look at levels, and that's the whole point, all, all trading is, is levels. Again, I know a lot of people are fixated on fund fundamental analysis, and that's great. If you're from, uh, if you're in the investing world, that's great. Fundamental Fundamental analysis are everything, but again, a stock cannot go higher if the technicals are showing technical damage, and that's exactly what happened. Again, I don't care how great Amazon you think is, Amazon, right? Amazon today first closed, right? First closed below 
Tuesday's low, which confirmed the 50-day moving average and after the close because of FedEx right now is trading down here, right around this 123 level, which is the low from September 1st, which obviously has a magnet all the way down to this 22 level. Again, great company. It doesn't translate into what's happening now. Apple, for example, right? Apple is, again, the king of cash, right? The king of hoarding every penny in the universe. This is the first close below this uh, 150, what was it? 100 day moving average. Uh, put in a low today at 151.30s. Uh, after hours, right? After hours, it's you know, it's getting hit. Sorry about the ugly little wicks, but it's getting hit after hours as well. And if Apple starts confirming down, then you have room all the way down to 148. We saw uh, 152.50 weeklies come in. We saw uh, 145s come in for October's 147 and a halves. And that all correlates into this 148 level as well. Uh, a name like Meta. And again, Meta has been having some really really aggressive moves and you can't really look at meta the same way you look at an amazon or an apple but again it's from the corporate side ad spending right people you know people are not advertising as much as they should and this is the lowest close in this whole formation here and this is you know a once you know a little stick away from really confirming back down this channel here uh to getting more aggressive uh semis continue to be a disaster uh, AMD. I mean, look, look what look what happened to Nvidia. This is again. This is what happens when you violate the 50-day and you ne you never and you never attempt to rally back. Look at you know names like AMD. AMD. They were coming for the 75 weeklies today, like they were absolutely coming out. Of, you know, just look, like the last day uh, to, to 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 buy puts. And and then you start looking at secondary names. Like look at a name, for example, like an MDB. Right. MDB is an inch away, you know, a day away from losing this bottom channel and starting its next leg up. Look look down. Look at look at work. Day, right look at workday for example again workday this is the first close below the 50-day moving average on workday okay if this thing can starts confirming down it's going to get hit hit as well and i know there's definitely some pockets of strength right I, I get it there's definitely pockets of strength tesla has been an absolute monster really absolute monster uh just what are you going to say right the, the, you know institutional money flow in this name is still super duper strong um, they were coming for the three tens that expire tomorrow, the three fifteens. We saw some three thirties and three forties for October, but again, this stock is not going to be immune, right? I love Tesla more than probably anybody on the planet, not named the Musk family. But I, I, you know, this is one of those scenarios that you're not looking at the sum of the parts you're looking at the whole so for every Tesla out there, that's strong. And in Netflix today, that got upgraded at one point was up. I think it was like 16, 17 points today. Super duper strong and the continued strength, for example, on names uh, like a snow, right? A, a name like a snow. For every strength that's there, there's just so many stocks that are continuously getting hit and continuously to build below the levels, which were damaged uh, two days ago on that uh, CPI number. So going into tomorrow, again, is, is this FedEx... Uh, pre-announcement going to affect you know multiple multiple sectors probably right you got the trans transports you got retail um, you know you have the consumer cyclicals you have, you have you have a lot of you know names that could be kind of filtered out in the domino effect but the point is again looking at everything not trying to get a, a, a needle in a haystack of one stock that's showing strength you're just trying to look at everything and if you look at the other indexes. Uh, you got IWM, right? IWM, if it starts building below this uh, 180 and a half, right? 180 and a half tomorrow, you, you have room all the way down to 76. Uh, the SPYs, uh, again, very, very close, taking down this bottom range here, 388 because of FedEx, right? Because of FedEx is right at the bottom of the range now, pre, uh, after hours. Look, look, at, you know, look, at, look at the SPYs for tomorrow, right? For all you guys who trade the ETFs, the, you know, the SPYs start losing, this, you know, 38840, 388 level, man, this thing has room all the way down to 382. So there's a lot of ramifications. You know, again, a lot of you guys maybe trade FedEx, maybe you don't. But again, when Main Street meets Wall Street uh, and it's not a good thing, okay, usually you're going to have a really aggressive reaction. So far, it's not that aggressive after hours on certain names. But other names, you are starting to feel it, like in Amazon, for example. I'm very surprised by the fact uh, Shopify is not getting a bigger reaction after hours. Um, maybe a name to watch for the next couple of days. You see this bottom channel here on the 10-day? Keep an eye on this thing. This thing starts losing that 3180s level. You know, this thing could, could get hit. I'm very surprised Shopify is not getting a reaction the same way uh, as Amazon. But definitely one to watch 
uh, for the next uh, couple of days. So that's it, guys. That's it. Tomorrow is Friday. Uh, option expiration. Um, usually you'll get some very, very aggressive action because of that. Tomorrow is also quadruple witching. So everything expires. Index, futures, blah, blah, blah. Everything expires. You want better definition? Just Google it right? Just Google it. Anyway, guys, that's it. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, definitely some good value. Uh, definitely good value on tap for tomorrow. If you go through your charts, all you got to do is go look at the September lows and any stock that's ready to, to violate it. Those are the names you want to pay attention to. Guys, God bless. Have a great trading session uh, tomorrow. I will see you all on the weekend video. Take care. Take care. Take care.